If your desk is always a mess, you are not the problem. Your system is the problem. And I'm gonna show you how to fix it. The first place you wanna start when organizing your office is your desk. And the trick is to have nothing on the desk other than your computer because clutter attracts clutter. I know this can feel impossible, but if you have paper organizers and pen organizers, your brain is going to tell you it's okay to keep adding to the pile. Instead, focus on the drawers. Take everything out and get yourself some really amazing drawer dividers. I'm using the ones from the container store because they have so many different sizes that you can make a really custom look. You can have it fit the drawer exactly so it doesn't slide around and absolutely everything has a home. The second trick is to make sure you're only storing things in your drawer that you use at least once or twice a week, if not every single day. We're gonna find a home for all the other stuff somewhere else. This is the secret to having a really tidy, organized desk. If you have a desk that doesn't have storage or you're a visual organizer, you want to have a storage unit that's like you can get to without getting out of your chair. For all of the stuff that you would normally pile in the desk, you still want a clear desk. So opt for a little shelf or a cabinet or a stand where you can put something like this. This is gorgeous. This is part of the Marie Kondo Shoji collection from the container store. And it's perfect for visual organizers because you're gonna leave things out anyways. My assistant Emily is like a bee on steroids. She wants to see everything, but she's really detailed. A stacking system like this is so perfect because she can see what she has and she can take the trays off to get to what she wants, easily put them back so it's not clutter. It's not taking up her workspace. I absolutely love this. If you don't have storage or you're visual, you need a system like this. The Shoji collection also has this matching pen organizer. Again, keep it off the desk though, put it right beside your desk so you can just still grab what you need, but you're not having clutter. All the cords to your desk can also add to the clutter, which again, clutter attracts clutter. So go ahead and get yourself one of these cord wrappers, put all your different cables and cords in it, and it will instantly make your entire office look tidier, which means you're more likely to keep it that way. Offices come with a ton of stuff, so you need a lot of storage. And I especially love using big sew boxes for hidden organizers like ladybugs or crickets because they come in so many different sizes. You can store everything you need, but it gives that appearance of simplicity. It doesn't look like clutter. Everything's hidden away. And I needed a lot of storage in this office, which was a blank slate. So Joe built me these custom shelves he framed them out, he painted it white, so I could add these gorgeous boxes to it. If you're wondering how professional organizers get that look that looks like a magazine or Pinterest when they're organizing a space, get your containers and put them empty on your shelving, like stage it how you like it to look. And don't be afraid to get different colors. I like my storage to be part of the decor. So I have pink and I have black and white bins and I put it the way I like it Then take a picture, then move all of the bins to the floor or somewhere else and organize into the bins. You wanna organize for your space not your stuff. That is the secret to having a beautifully organized shelf or closet that looks like a professional organized it, but it's still functional. Even though I'm a ladybug, which means a non-detailed organizer, I do like to sort things like, so all my cords are in one, all my HDMI cables are in another, all the bricks are in another bin. It just makes finding things really easy. But if you, if that feels like a lot of work, go for a bigger big sew box and have broader categories like cords and cables and just toss everything in. This isn't about perfection. It's about working with your natural style to create a system that will stay tidy. And I definitely recommend labeling your big sew boxes. I'm using my Cricut Joy and making some beautiful labels in the font Babette so that at a glance, I can see where everything is. I know what I have, but it doesn't feel like a kindergarten classroom.
Here's the thing about being a visual organizer. You do need to see all your stuff, but if we were just to stack everything on these shelves, not in containers, it would just look kind of messy. There's no way of making boxes of labels look aesthetically pleasing. So your brain is going to always feel like it's a mess. Using a container that is see-through enough that you can see what's inside, but also, you know, pretty or at least visually appealing, it's going to eliminate that feeling of mess. So whether you're a bee or a butterfly, look for containers that do this, that allow you to see inside, but also give enough of a visual break that it doesn't feel like messy clutter. This huge back shelf is for all the camera gear. Emily has a lot of camera equipment, but again, being visual, you still have smaller things that you wanna contain. So I love wire bins as well. These wire bins are so great, perfect for butterflies. You can see what's inside, but like the bees, just add smaller containers inside to kind of micro-organize. And it does, it looks contained, it looks neat, but it's completely visual still, so you're not feeling like it looks like mess and clutter. Frosted bins are also super perfect for visual organizers. Get the big ones if you're a butterfly, you can get smaller ones if you're a bee, but because they're frosted, you can still see what's inside, but again, it doesn't feel like messy clutter. Paper causes so much clutter in an office, right? Piles of paper, which is why I totally recommend ditching the ugly filing cabinets and going with big sew boxes just like this. You can store all of your long-term paper in here and have one for maybe home, one for finance, one for personal. They're beautiful, but they give you a ton of storage. But the biggest paper clutter issue isn't the stuff we wanna store and file, it's the stuff we have to deal with, right? The things coming in which is why we need a command center. I, even though I am not visual, I love having a command center on the wall, magazine racks right up on the wall, maybe a bulletin board and drop the papers you have to deal with in here. It's visual, so it's like that reminder you have to deal with it, but it's not a pile on your desk. I wanna make a command center here in Emily's office too because she's so visual and I'm always bringing in scripts and paper for her and she's piling it on her desk. So having it on the wall is like so important, especially to visual organizers. And I love this perch system from the container store because it's really easy to put together. They have these magnetic plates that you attach to the wall and then you pick the components for things that you need, whether it's paper organizers or little shelves or spots for your pens, anything you need they have something that you can add to your perch system, including little memos. And because everything is magnetized, you can move it around. You're like You don't have to be stuck with the same system. You can adapt it at any time. I feel like every home needs a command center and probably more than one command center. I've used this system at my old house, for my kids, for their all the papers they have when they come home from school and their library books. Think about the paper clutter in your home and how can you create a command center to kind of catch it? And I definitely recommend going with the perch from the container store. Every time I use this perch system, I'm reminded how much I absolutely love it. It's so easy to put up, so functional. You need one of these. If your office feels kind of messy and cluttered, you are not the problem. You're just not using the right system. I hope you're feeling inspired to know yourself a little bit better and know the products that are gonna work for you. So in 2024, you can have a productive, functional office that you deserve. Big shout out to the Container Store Everything you saw is from the Container Store, and I'm going to put links to everything down below. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I have been talking about decluttering, cleaning, and organizing for 15 years, and I love it. I'm passionate about it, but I need a break. I want to make a video about something completely different, something weird, and I would love your advice. At the end of this year, let me know what kind of video you want to see from me that's just, I don't know, talking about something weird. I can show you how to make balloon animals. That's like my only talent. 
My kid says I make a mean shepherd's pie without peas because peas are disgusting. If you want that recipe, just whatever it is that you if like, you're like, I wish I knew this weird thing about Cass, or maybe Cass could show me something. Did you know I have the entire Romeo and Juliet play memorized? I could do, th I mean, if you got an hour and a half, I could do that for you. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time.